Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel, where we do lots of adventures and traveling and stuff like that. Welcome to Western Pennsylvania. Today, we're gonna do something weird. I don't even like wine, but we're gonna make some wine today with my mom. Uh, my mom's made a lot of different types of wine. She's made like dandelion wine, elderberry, pineapple, tomato, strawberry, whatever. You can make wine out of really anything. Um, but we thought it would be funny, or I thought it would be funny to make pine needle wine. It's actually possible. So we're gonna try that. I've never made wine. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna go and spend some time with my mom learning the ways of the wine. The first thing that we have to do is pick some pine needles. So we're gonna to go to the forest and pick some fresh pine needles for this pine needle wine. Let's go. <laughs> oh God, I was right here. So me and my sister Tansy are gonna go into the forest and pick some pine needles. Let's go. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Who really knows the right way to do this? Not me. Not me. I actually have to do. <laughs> oh yeah, if you like tear it upwards. I think we have a technique now. I think you're an expert now. I am an expert now. It's not too hard, my darling. Okay, so we're in the kitchen now and we have our pine needles. This is the pine needles. So basically the first thing that we have to do is actually boil these for an hour. Um, we'll probably have to get to the rest of this recipe tomorrow. Oh, I'll introduce you. This is my mom. Hello. We're gonna put this in water and wait, boil it or simmer it? Simmer, one hour. Three pounds of sugar, 36 ounces of raisins. That's black tea, one cup of black tea. One cup of black tea. The juices of two lemons. A carboy. A carboy. Glass. And this. Two pinches of nutmeg. And pine needles. And a sachet of yeast. We'll put this in here. <laughs> One thing I do want to disclaim is don't follow this as a tutorial. Don't follow this recipe. Can I? I don't want anyone trying to make bad wine like that makes you sick or something. So don't actually use it as a tutorial. This is just for your entertainment. Just so number 10 is that much. What? Just put that no, much. We need that, to that, that, you don't need that. We have to chop all these up. Like when you chop something, you know what chopping is. I know, but like you have to make it like how small? Didn't say. It's very unorganized. That's your pine water. Actually, I don't think you and I have ever cooked together. Hello. This is the next day. We boiled down the pine needles into a pine broth, and then we put it in. What's this thing called? Carboy. So this is pine juice. How much is this? This is a half a gallon. Did you measure this? A half gallon. So no, we didn't measure it. And this is, what is this? This is sugar water. Okay, so we put three pounds of sugar into boiling, boiling water. Boiling water. Okay, right. and now we pour it in the pine juice. Wait, we need a funnel. Mommy don't need a funnel. Oh, a little too much, that's fine. Okay, this that is, is probably too much actually. If actually, it was 32 ounces. Is, we can okay. always break away and then pretend we Is it okay right. if there's floating things in there? Those? No, don't be talking about that. <laughs> but here, you film me chopping these. Is this a sharp chop, knife? Chop, chop, chop. I don't feel like this is a sharp knife, Mom. <laughs> All right, you can finish that. <laughs> <laughs> huh. A package of yeast is two and one quarter oh, teaspoons. Was what? that helpful? Was it helpful? Why do they say sachet? We don't call it sachet over here. What's the problem? Is this? How many teaspoons in a statute of yeast? Alexa. Here is what I found. Tansy's still having an answer for us. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. I'm just here for the ride, guys. Did you worry how much is in a sachet? I'm just chopping S -A -C -H -E -T. raisins. S-A-C-H-E-T. Ma'am. Ma'am. She's always going about doing random tasks. Never present in the moment. All right, I think you need, you need to pour some of this out. Should I pretend to chop them? Chop. They're not chopped. Like that's the thing. This knife is not chopping. Call them. this. Damn it. Lost a light source. Because you guys aren't gonna know that it's not gonna turn out good because it's gonna take like what six months to a year to actually taste it. So if it turns out bad, 
I'll update you in a year. Go. Get that on the sides. Get that pouring in there. Yeah. Yeah, there goes the sterilness. The what? Sterilness. That's not a word. You threw it on the counter and then you put it in. Oh, guys, this is not as. <laughs> You had to be really, really clean with this, okay? So this is why this is not a tutorial. This is um, just the general way of making it, but don't follow this because you have to be very, very sterile. The dog was so quiet. The dog gets up and starts looking, <laughs> starts drinking it. Oh, it wasn't even recording. <sighs> All right, so more raisins. I think you need to pour more of that out. <laughs> I'll just, I'll label this. I'll, I'll, I'll just label this fail. So the next step one cup of black tea. is to put in one cup of black tea. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Do you think that'll, we can't pour more out, we just put the black tea in. No, it's, it's, it's going down into it, it's fine. We'll just, and also we have lemon juice here. Yeah, what's well, I'm saying, it's getting too full again. Is this gonna be okay? No, we'll dump some out. Well, geez, none, we're not gonna have any wine left. We. <gasps> Careful. Ugh. We really overestimated on that pine juice. One pinch of nutmeg. Maybe we weren't supposed to put that in yet. Mom! <laughs> hey, it all goes the same place. This is not how you make wine. No, I usually make it better. Believe me. Sure, she, she does. She stresses me. We both stress each other out a lot, so we're really flustered right yes. now. Like, we look Just, pretty composed, but... So actually, you know. I'm gonna dump a little bit of this out and then put the yeast in and then transfer it back. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mom! <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. Give me a little bit of this project. <laughs> Mom only has an attention span of like five Child. minutes. She has my attention span. So this is fancy wine yeast. This isn't, it smells the same as normal yeast, but it's, apparently it's not. All right, that's enough. I don't really like wine. This is my mom's wine that she made that's from just grapes. I was gonna try elderberry wine, she had that, but she couldn't find any of that. So this is Concord grape organic wine that she already made. Interesting. That tastes a lot different than wine I'm used to drinking. It's very like, there's not like that sting of it. It seems more like smooth. It's very smooth. So now we're going to put in the yeast, which is now bubbling. It's not bubbling. That's fine. Do we mix it? It doesn't say to mix it. Well, do you normally mix it? Depends on my mood. <laughs> it's not first today. This is my estranged mother, by the way. Estranged? Yeah. Or strange? Estranged means that you, like I don't have a relationship with you anymore. That was a joke. Oh. I call her when I'm in trouble. Love her. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, so well, I mean, it's not really it. I mean, that's just the <clears throat> okay. So of let the me process. let's explain what is going to happen next. This is the airlock, and you actually have to put water in here, Tori. Oh, so put, so I'll show it up to this line. To what? Get, go ahead and get. <laughs> Mom's attention span is completely depleted at this point. That keeps all the fruit flies out and everything. Why do you put water in it? To keep it. To keep everything like. From, from, I don't know what, I don't She's know. <laughs> <laughs> it will ferment with the pulp for five to seven days. It will calm down. It will be bubbling all this time. It's fun to watch. And it, you will siphon your wine off and take all the stuff off at the bottom. And after that, just go on the internet and find out what you do. <laughs> after that, we, we can't help you anymore. <laughs> All right, so that's how you begin making wine. I guess it's not a full wine process. But so this is our pine needle wine. Point. What's that? Wait, let me show them this. What? This is mom's, what's this? That's nut. Polish nut roll. It's a Polish nut roll. She put that in the oven. She was very flustered today trying to make that. Okay. Yeah, are we done? <laughs> yeah, you can go. <laughs> she's released. Let mom go back off into the wild. <laughs> she's like trying, she's trying to like make a dog behave on video. Oh, you're so heavy. So, update on the wine. It's overflowing. Mom, what are we supposed to do about this? Right See, it's completely overflowing. I've got those raisins, they all rose oh. up. It's, and it's starting to bubble, but now it is overflowing. Oh, no, all right, so I am doo -doo 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 -doo, back in the house I grew up in, my childhood home. 
And to continue with my wine adventure here. So this this yeah. is my apple. Okay, so this is dad's side of the wine. And we're gonna try these different types this of wines. Is neat. Okay. So not quite a year old. So like this is apple wine. Yeah, I I, I did have these. This is before. beet wine, right? Yeah. And he just let us try some blackberry wine, which is very, very good. It's actually, you can taste the blackberry in it, which I've never had wine like that before. I've only had normal wine. This is the first time trying like a different flavor. It's, it doesn't have that bad stinging aftertaste. So this is from yeah. the fresh blackberries yeah, outside. Yeah, that was a good year that grew. All right, we're gonna try the apple wine now. Yeah, I didn't use on these ones. The first ones I made, I, which I still have my old uh, elderberry. Elderberry, it, I use more sugar, so it's a little more potent. What's your favorite one? Huh? What's your favorite one? I like my elderberry and my blackberry. How old is how, how these aged? are? I think. Oh, I, no, that is good. How aged was that? Is so one? sweet. That's my favorite. Yeah, I, yeah. You're it's gonna just taste earthy, and you're gonna notice the beet taste. So it's, like I said, it, it's just you're gonna go, ooh, oh, that's right, it's beet. Now, if you was to drink this and say, oh, what is that? But you know now ahead of time it is beet, so you're gonna have to get used to the. Because after apple, it's not gonna taste very good, probably. Yeah, because it's gonna be a little. So what are these two? This is a. Uh... That's elderberry, and this okay. is hawthorn. Hawthorn. Washington hawthorn. Oh, apple. A pop or something or a yeah, drink. Yeah, it's fizzy. Yeah. Oh wow, that does taste like beets, but it's not bad. That's it's... very interesting. Yeah, you never, it's... you never. It doesn't even taste like wine. Yeah, people don't really. It literally tastes, tastes like it tastes like beets. It has a little. No, I made mead out of honey. See the honey? Like I made mead, and that's what the Vikings. Meat. Right. All, all it is is honey and water and uh, yeast. Oh, so like that's, that's like Vikings. honey wine. Yeah. Is mead? Do you want to try some mead? It's, sure. It's I've never had it before. Yeah. So you're making vinegar right here. Apple cider vinegar. How do you do that? And I was hoping it's going to grow a mushroom on there, and that once it does that, because you got to get have a start. But I don't know if that's going to work or not, because I need to. I have a start if you need one. I just want a little. Whoops. Sorry. All right. Let's see. What do you yeah, think, Tansy? Very, uh, sharp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Drink. Wow. Oh, the Viking. It's almost. It almost tastes like a beer. Yeah, it's a lager. It's like, uh, that's not bad. That's like I don't Vikings. mind beer. That was the first stuff the Vikings and stuff made mead. That's what they call mead. Now, if you add sh uh, strawberries, it's not bad. I, it, I actually like it because I don't mind beer, but it tastes like beer to me. I mean, you can use blueberries. Dad made some biscuits. In its place. Is some, is some of this organic then? I guess that. All of it is. It's my beets. I grew beets. Oh, these are your grown. I've grown them. Yeah. Oh, you beets grew them. <laughs> you grew them. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't buy those. So, so the apple too? Yeah, our from apple that, trees. The apple trees and the beets. And, and the then. honey is my own honey from my beets. So this is all organic stuff. He's yeah. all made himself. So this is dad's uh, pickled beets uh, egg, which is from his own chickens, the egg. And then he made these biscuits. Hi, um, so this is probably about a week after we made the wine. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like now. So this wine has been through a lot. As you can see, the raisins are all very swollen and it's, it, it bubbles like, it's been bubbling like this for, for days now. Will this wine turn out? Only time will tell, literally. It's, it's very messed up wine, okay? If it does turn out, I'll be very surprised, I'll be happy. But we'll find out next year or in, in six months to see if it if it tastes like pine, I guess. But I hope you enjoyed this wine video. I had fun with it anyways. I like to learn new things, even if it's not something I particularly uh, think about often. That's how you open up your mind and your world. Stay extraterrestrial, and I'll see you in the next video.